live from Whitehorse Black Mountain and co-produced by Whitehorse Black Mountain and Rad House Studio. We are pleased to welcome Chuck Brodsky back to the Whitehorse stage. And we're so pleased to have a live audience again for these shows. All of us here at Whitehorse and Rad House Studio, thank you for viewing Whitehorse Live during this past year. You've been just about the only income we've been able to generate during the ongoing COVID restrictions, which as of today have been lifted in North Carolina. So you have kept Whitehorse from going out of business and for that we are indeed grateful. Artists have been faced with fewer and smaller audiences than before COVID and probably will for a little while yet. So they too are grateful for your ticket purchases and for any additional love you might be willing to share by way of our virtual tip jar. During the show, you can visit whitehorselive.tips in your web browser or on your phone for the live audience here. And we will display that address again from time to time during the show for the online audience. Thank you finally, for making this series a success. Please help us spread the word. Keep sharing the event notices and tell all your friends. Now here's your host, Bob Hinkle. Hey, good evening, everybody. It's awfully nice to have you with us. It's good to see real live faces rather than having to imagine you, which we've been doing for quite a while. Um, Mr. Brodsky will be with us in a minute, but first, we have to have our theme. When the song rises up, white horses will fill the mountains. When the song rises up, then the clouds roll away. If you don't believe that music has the power, just stay right here with us for just about an hour. Oh, Chuck Brodsky, he gonna lift you up. He gonna loosen up your tight and he will fill your cup. When the song rises up, white horses will fill the mountains. When the song rises up, then the clouds roll away. Then the clouds roll away. Then the clouds, they're going to roll away. Now, thank you. Thanks very much. So as I've said tonight, we are pleased to have Chuck Brodsky uh, as one of our finest songwriters and performers. Chuck tells a story like nobody else. His characters are so frequently so real that I expect him to walk onto the stage. Um, they're so well drawn that I actually can at times find them in my own memory as if they were a part of my life. Chuck's songs poke fun at what needs poking. They're sworn to tell the truth. As a writer and a performer, Chuck reflects humanity back on itself as accurately and as well as anybody I know. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, guppies and goldfish, paramecians and amoebas, if you would, a virtual and a live round of applause for the man of the hour, Mr. Chuck Brodsky. Thank you. So great to be here. So great to almost see you. I have to ask that the house lights be put back on so that I can see you because I haven't had a chance to play for real people in a very long time. That's great. That, oh, yeah. You're beautiful. <laughs> thank you for being here, and thank you for tuning in at home. Dump it in the river, take it out back and throw it in the woods. Take it out back and chuck it down the hillside. We'll keep the front yard looking good. That old TV quit on me, brother, ten years ago, so I got me another. First one sitting out by the porch swing with the fridge and the stove and a bunch of other things. Gonna take them out back, dump them in the river. Take them out back and throw them in the woods. Take them out back and chuck them down the hillside. Keep the front yard looking good. If 
that rusted old car It's got no motor If it had any gas I would try to explode her Help caps, hoods, and old transmissions Take them to the river Gonna make for good fishing Gonna take them out back Dump them in the river Take them out back And throw them in the woods Take them out back And chuck them down the hillside Keep the front yard looking good In the fridge, it's all turned green, and the chicken bones that have been picked clean. Some on the counter, some on the floor. Let's take them out the back door. Gonna take them out back, dump them in the river. Take them out back and throw them in the woods. Take them out back and chuck them down the hillside. Keep the front yard looking good. We'll keep the front yard looking good. I got to keep up the neighborhood. Thank you. Um, that song has gotten me in trouble a couple of times <laughs> with people that don't understand irony. <laughs> oh, you know, I've been live streaming for 45 weeks every Sunday. This Sunday will be my 46th live stream. And in all that time, I think I've done three or four live shows for very small groups of people. And so <clears throat> this is going to be a lot of fun tonight. So this next song is a baseball song. Imagine that. It's uh, a song I wanted to write for years, <clears throat> and I finally got around to doing it about a year ago. It's about the uh, all-girls professional baseball league that played during the, uh, I guess, late 30s, early 1940s, during the World War II era. And the caliber of baseball was excellent. And if you saw the movie um, A League of Their Own, you would know about this league. So this is called The Country Needed Baseball. And that's exactly how I felt a year ago. starts. in their knees for a couple precious hours people's minds could be at ease the country needed baseball like you need a cigarette when you've gone too long without one but you still can't have one yet and your loved ones in the trenches with a gun and bayonet and you're stuck there waiting tables at the corner luncheonette the country needed baseball to give itself a lift not every patriotic woman had to fill the factory shift. Some 
some could hit a curveball, others could throw strikes. Some would run you over, or they'd cut you with their spikes. Sunday afternoons Stadiums would fill up There'd be banners and balloons There was Cracker Jack and Peanuts Hot dogs, beer and coke Just like when the boys played It all tastes like cigar smoke This is so great. This is just so great. I live stream to a camera lens this far away and I don't get any applause at the end of it. <laughs> I don't even get that much in tips sometimes. So <laughs> this is great. Um, and I want to say hi to mom and dad watching from Philadelphia. <coughs> so uh, in these days, <coughs> in these times, you know how hard it is to have a talk about politics with anybody that doesn't believe exactly like you do, right? And you just get absolutely nowhere trying to persuade anybody to change their mind about anything, right? And it just deteriorates into nasty fights and stuff like that. And believe me, I tried every approach there was, and, and then some. And nothing ever worked until I came up with this idea. And this works, folks. Trust me on this. Here we go. After three or four tries, I poked out his eyes. That's how I got him to see I get him to hear I screamed in his ear I gave him the third degree I sharply berated him I told him I hated him I wasn't very kind I shouted and cussed Until I won his trust Well, that's how I changed his mind I shunned him, ignored him I wouldn't look toward him I only would give him my back I accused him of lies I would not compromise. I erased him after the fact. I was abrupt. I would often interrupt. We were volatile when combined. And then stated my case, I blew up in his face. 